Tequila. Huh? Yes, we are now um, preparing um, for the winter storage of uh, of veggies. So we we will use some of this uh, mixed uh, soil and um, and uh, and a little bit of sand. Uh, into the root cellar where we are going to store uh, the wedges for, for the winter. So this needs to dry up a little bit and um, Good to use and have some moisture and for the veggies. They need quite um, quite much uh, moisture the veggies when you when you're going to store them uh, through the winter. Um, uh, and we have quite a good root cellar, so um, but we'll try to do some different beds, some different uh, boxes filled up with uh, sand and a little bit of a mixed uh, soil. We're also going to use some, some moss uh, as a lead on top uh, to also keep the moisture and, uh, and uh, get a good climate for, for, the, for the root wedge. Yeah, at the same time that we think of um, new uh, or to store uh, wedges, we uh, we also are uh, in also planting new stuff. So here's a here's a bed uh, where we have turned uh, um, organic leftovers, uh, roots, and and so on into the into a, a bed system like this, and. Uh, so now we're preparing for, for garlic. Uh, and we are planting garlic um, now, when it's autumn. So it's two things. It's to get the root wedges in uh, to a good storage and at the same time uh, plant. And also we are going to do some new seeding uh, with carrots also later, uh, almost when it's winter. So. Um, uh, so we so we are doing that at the same time. Then we also use some of this uh, straw material that have come the, out from the cow stall. Uh, that will also be mixed into the to the soil uh, to to get a more airy uh, function uh, into the soil, uh, as also the root leftovers also does. Yes, so and uh, if you come over here, uh, we will also try to... Uh, uh, here you see the, the carrots, they will they are soon very very ready to, to uh, come inside to be, storage, uh, to be stored. And here we have some parsnips and um, actually we will, try <coughs> we will try with the parsnips to, um, to uh, uh, actually uh, store them in the ground uh, so when it's spring again we can uh, we can take them up 
So some of the root wedges we will also try to just let them be where they are and, and uh, we will uh, harvest them next season. Uh, we had some samples uh, we, we did uh, this year and we took some, um, took some of the parsnips up and they were really really great. So uh, we will try that uh, also this year. Uh, yes, now we are in the root cellar. Um, and here we have some of the boxes that we uh, uh, that we will um, store the, a lot of the root wedges we, we have and um, we now try to also have uh, some of this material in uh, on top of the sand to also make it a little bit more nicer. This will of course dry out uh, a little bit and uh, that's also the meaning. And we hope to, with a mixture between uh, sand, soil, moss, um, to also actually, can actually also plant the, the carrots uh, on top. Uh, of a layer of soil uh, into the root cellar. So um, you have um, also have in a root cellar like this. You have also a little. Uh, there, there could be there's a little bit of light coming through, uh, uh, even if it's quite dark. But that uh, and that makes in a way the. Uh, if you set carrots on top of the soil, it will begin to also set some small leaves, uh, uh, more like white when, uh, yeah, like you get when when uh, plants are are standing in the dark, they get a little bit white, long, uh, and also uh, white green, uh, um, almost like roots. Like this. So maybe we can get an interesting culture also into the root cellar. That's a, a goal. Yes, here we have uh, Nussi. She is going to give her uh, birth for her first time, and uh, we are a little bit uh, uh, yeah can happen now anytime uh, during the first 24 hours uh, so uh, she's going in here where we used to have the, the cows that are going to give birth uh, it's a little bit exciting to see how things turn out uh, I'm thinking also next time to come a little bit closer into different methods uh, uh, why we are doing the farming uh, and uh, farm like this and uh, go a little bit closer into biodynamic and uh, permaculture and a little bit different methods that that we use uh, into our uh, farming uh, so that is what I think we I will talk a little bit about next time uh, and then also a little bit harvesting, uh, of course, uh, we will harvest now uh, quite a lot from this week and uh, continue some weeks now uh, in autumn to get everything stored for the winter.